it's a little bit dangerous to say this on video, but I think it's important. I know I can lose everything I have in a minute. It's never ending. You will desires. Like I promised the Mayamaka. I thought most Hasidics don't go to a higher education. He never had closure. His father is in the mastery. I almost burned and I almost drowned. Something's gonna happen. Either I'm, I'm gonna be done or I'm gonna be very big. And where are we? This is like the, the Hollywood Hills of, of, uh, of the Hasidim world? <laughs> yeah. Hasidim world? This is Pomona, New York. Not far from Muncie. Uh, up and coming neighborhood. Views of the city way back there. I don't think it can be seen in the camera. And so tell me about this guy. What's his story? This guy is Lipa Schmelzer. He is um, one of the top, really, really one of the big, the big boys in the Hasidic music uh, okay. scene. Very friendly guy, very creative guy. I don't want to say anything. Okay, just, okay. Just gonna see for yourself. It's a sweet place. I think this is it. So every property I've been in this trip, everyone's had COVID. So I haven't been wearing the mask, but I don't know here. So we'll see. How's it going? And you're about to meet Lupus Schmelzer. Hello, thank you for coming. I'm sorry. I'm about to make my famous. Hello. Uh, nice to meet you. How are Peter. you? Peter. Nice to meet you. How are you? Good. No, I wasn't. For me, it's okay. I wasn't sure. Everybody has oh, it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Have you have you had it yet? Yes, in March. Okay, then we I'll have uh, it. Then the, yeah, then the this off. comes off. You're going to get your payas set up and then we're going to go through yes. what you're doing here. Yes. And you just moved here, right? I just moved here, not even a week. Oh, okay. So, wow. Um, so it's just a water process? It's a, So it's much better when they use gel and go like this for now. And if it doesn't work out, then I go like this. Do both. I go like this, twist it around the finger. The pay is, first of all, it's an interesting thing because a lot of this stuff is, mm -hmm. is a few hundred years old, maybe at most, like the black the coat. Yeah. And the pay is, is it from straight from the Bible. I don't know if I could get away with it, but it, it's working on you really well. Yeah, thank you so much. So, uh, thanks for the compliment. That's beautiful. This is my son, Shemi. Hey, Shemi. So I taught my, my children English because I'm believing that uh, they should know, you know, there should be, there should be, there's a Hebrew word, Torem der which mm -hmm. means that you have to have the Torah mm -hmm. and you also have to have, uh, be normal between people among everybody. So I te teach him English. Now he you knows so well English, he says, Tati, I want to start talking Yiddish uh -huh. because I don't want to forget Yiddish. This is my father, by the way, and uh, he passed away. He was in the concentration camps. Yeah, he came here, became very, very ultra-Orthodox Hasidic. Wow. He brought down 12 children. I'm number 11, I think that gives the story more or less, yeah. How long was he in the concentration camp for? He was, the exact date, I, I don't know if I know. Right. But he was there, he was in, he was in camp, he was in Hungary, mm -hmm. and he was in Kastner's train. So the Kastner's train, it was a whole thing, controversy with money, with the, with the, with the Nazis. Mm -hmm. So in the middle of the way to take him to Switzerland, mm -hmm. they put him in a Bergen-Belsen ghetto. They wanted to take them to Auschwitz and they were negotiating with money and at the end of the game they went out and he went to Switzerland and uh, thank God he came to America. This is, I'm just going to show did, you. What did he think of America? So it's an interesting question because my father, it's, it's, it's a little bit dangerous to say this on video but I think it's important because I think for secular people to understand the mind of the old generation of the people who came out of the Holocaust is important. Mm -hmm. My father looked at everybody who was not like him or not Jewish. He was traumatized and he thought, who knows who is the next, well, who's going to do something next. And right. the next generation knows, no, there's a lot of nice people and it's nothing. But I think that the, the reason why so many people live in communities so tied together, right. people can tell you all types of nice reasons, but I think a lot has to do with the reliving of the, the because the founders who founded these communities are people who came out of ghettos. Right. And I think it, it has a big impact. Right. And the younger the generation is, people can, like my father would never go on camera like this. Yeah. He did it for me once. Mm -hmm. But he, like if I tell him you want to interview him, he would be like, no, you, you know. So I just barely moved, but I'm gonna do a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of great art. Like uh, it's like your own museum down here. Yes, it's gonna be. It's gonna be a museum. Mm -hmm. These are letters my father wrote me when I was a boy. So I, I kind of 
kind of put it together. Some are, some are straight, some are opposite because he's not alive. He looks down from the other world. So how do you think your father was obviously traumatized from his experiences in Europe? You, you were born here. You didn't have the same experiences. How did it change so quickly? Do you think it's transgenerational? Like it's going to be in, yeah, I think all our think, traumas in there for a while, right? Or yeah, no? yeah, it's like in the DNA. It's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's, it, it's a fact. It, it can't even be different because uh, let, let's just think about it for a second, okay? Yeah. Time heals and also people say, okay, don't bring me back all these memories. No, it's not true. But if you go to the beginning, you want to look in your wallet and you say you had $300 and now you only had $10. You don't know where it went. But you go back since the morning, you say, okay, I had a coffee, I had breakfast. I went to Home Depot, at the bowl. okay, there's where my money went. Mm -hmm. So if we go back just, if we go back chronological, we, we think my father was 16 years old yeah. and his father passed away in, in, in Munkatabur and other, uh, in an army camp with the Hung Hungarians. He was trying to help out, he was like an army. And he came here all alone. He came with his mother and one brother, but mm -hmm. all alone, meaning without a father, without most of his family, like his uncles, everybody, you know. He became different and he looked for a job and he didn't know the language. And before you know it, he's married and he's bringing down children. I'm one of the children. Yeah. So it's, it's just mathematical, it's very simple to see that it has an impact and it yeah. takes a few generations to, for people to, to, to see things in a different light. Right. You know? So your kid, how you raise your yeah, son. Well. Yeah. If you look at this, this is me graduating from Columbia University. But by the way, Columbia I University. Yes. But right away, I mixed it up with... with so I thought, most, I thought most Hasidics don't go to a higher education. Exactly. So I had a different journey, which I didn't want to go into the whole okay. thing. Yeah, sure. But uh, I had a different journey, and, I, and, I, and, I, and, and you know, we, had our, we have our ups and downs, and now I'm very integrated in the, in the community. And I, can, I, I should say that even my journey helped me be very strong now in the community. What do you I mean am. my journey? Like you went away from the religion? I went a little thing? bit more modern, let's just say. Okay. But now I'm very in the Hasidic community. But I think even going to Colombia, the, not for everybody has the same effect, but for me, it affected me in a way that I saw my roots. I saw I'm never going to become Chinese. I'm never yeah. going to become Italian. Uh, it's part, like I'm between all these people, but I'm always going to stay a Jew. I'm always going to be, this is how I'm looked at. This mm -hmm. is just the way my, my heritage is. And then I put my father in the middle. Like he wasn't so happy I go for education. And then I put, he, he was studying this all day. Did he ever support you in the, in, you know? In, in the, in the years, education, he wasn't so years. into it, but in music, he always tried to give me good words. He wasn't a big musician. He wasn't really living on this, on this world. He was mm. like really living with God. But I think it's all part of the story, it's part of his journey that he, he went through. He never said shiva. He never had a funeral for his father. He never had closure. Mm. His father is in a mass grave. I never shared this in public. I went for, a, for a, like a, you should say a workshop, you could say a therapy workshop, uh -huh. and for three days, and there was a lot of tears. So I took all the tissues of the tears, and I glued it, and this is all, the whole painting is made out of the tissues of that three oh, days. Wow. It, yeah, you can feel it even. And then, this is like a cup of wine, because I said to God, it was right like before my whole uh, the transition back in the Hasidic community very strong, I said, Hashem, you know, take my tears and turn it into to, to, to a kosh shadrucha, to a cup of blessings. And it was all after my father passed away. I had like, a, if you want to go mystical, I once almost drowned. I went to, to Florida to, to, to take a cup and purify it before Passover. It's a whole other tradition. And it was quicksand pulling me in. And my son pulled me out. I almost died. And then the, 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 the police in the area told me, you can't go into that water. They have like... Um, I don't know if crocodile, not crocodiles, um, alligators. alligators. Yeah. And, that, and about a few weeks later, I had a charger in my house, putting too close to the bed. It has a me had a metal wire, and I woke up. And the wall was on flames. My mattress, my blanket. I had a whole house empty out. All my kids, and I ran out. And I said, "God, everything is going like wrong. But like my money, and I almost burned and I almost drowned. Something's gonna happen. Either I'm, I'm gonna be done, or I'm gonna be." very big, you know, I don't want to say the word big, but very, mm -hmm. and things stand around for me, and now I'm very busy and very popular, and I say this How many years a big shot, you know? I say this because I've seen the other side, and I know you can't be a big shot when you're popular because it's not you. God can take it away any second, and I hope he will give it to me for me. So years. how do you keep the humility from that lesson? From that lesson, I've been through, I will never judge another person again, 
I was always humble to speak to people nice, but I am in a place where I know I can lose everything I have in a minute, and I'm asking Hashem that He should give me every day another opportunity. It's like when I look at this beautiful house, I, I want to say thank you Hashem for giving me the house, but then I say no. Thank you Hashem for letting me have the house today. Right. Why? Because it's a mortgage. If I can't afford the mortgage for seven months from now, they'll take away the house. Yeah. So that means thank you for having me, for letting me have the house today. Yeah. And, uh, it's spiritual security yes, alarm. That's it, that's a spiritual security alarm. I learned that a few weeks ago. So I'm using, using our, I'm calling this, I'm, since I'm about seven, eight years old, I know the recording studio. Okay. At age 42, it's time to, for me to change that. Uh huh from a studio to a studio. In this place, I'm going to learn, I'm going to daven, I'm going to pray, I'm going to meditate, I'm going to mm -hmm. write music. <sighs> so this is one corner is music, one corner is piano, one corner is the mm -hmm. books, one corner is learning. That's what I like to do. That's why I like to look at this place. Can you, can you play me? Yes, play? yes. So uh, let's see what I got. And I'm hearing this piano in the background that I'm thinking I'm embarrassed because I don't recall really having this piano. But then I'm realizing I too just playing in the background. So uh, besides this, and we can we can learn something from this because this is how our mind plays today. It used to be that you can be focused, and now you can't be focused because your mind is is uh, all the time, and it's here, it's there, it's everywhere at the same time, you know? And technology um, could be a disaster, or it could be an advantage. Yeah. I think it depends how you use it. I mean, I don't know if I would ever be with you in conversation without technology. No. So look, I don't know. we come from San Francisco, yeah. and then we see we're people. We have different looks but really we're human beings so the only way to get it really is to go into that other world yeah and that's what technology is allowing allowing us to do because exactly. i go into the other worlds that most people aren't going to go into i capture them and then they can get there yeah, and it virtually it. yes and i talk to you i get inspired by you I promised him a yarmulke. He says he always wanted a yarmulke. I'm looking for a gold silver yarmulke. And then I gave it to him. You're constructing this on the fly right now? Yes. Okay. So that's a rhythm. You just drop it's a it. rhythm. Peter, Peter came to my home on Friday. It's right before Shabbos and it's usually my day But I will give him, give him, give him a few words on the community To bring unity I want to utilize the opportunity Oh, Peter, 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 you will experience a Shabbos, Shabbos Kodesh Oh, Shabbos Kodesh means holy and pure You will come with all the shul of Shabbos Kodesh Peter, 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 you will lead us like a leader. You will show the world we can come together. Now let's have a good Shabbos, good Shabbos, good Shabbos, Peter. Yes. That's fantastic. How? How do you do that? I, you think I know? You think I know? I always... It was just channeled through you somehow. My mind is very fast. Okay, Lipa. So I just want to finish with one thing. I want to finish by saying that, first of all, I want to, I want to grow and learn to, to love myself and love others and appreciate life. I have so many blessings. But we have a thing we call the Eitzahara. It's like in, a, in the... Evil inclination. Yeah, evil inclination. It's in English, maybe. Like I have this beautiful view, but I have these four trees blocking the water a little bit. <laughs> so I'm thinking I need to ask the neighbor if he can let me shave it a yeah. little bit. And then I'm thinking, what if you're not going to let me? So I'm not going to have the nice view. I'm saying, you have the most magnificent view, but you're not thinking about the trees because it's a never ending story. Yeah. And then you have a window. I'm thinking I should have a whole glass window. It's never ending. The desires, 
it's a good thing because it drives us but we have to also keep it humble and then I want to say that they have nice animals here it's like we're living in a mountain we came into their territory in the summer we have black beers wow and I'm afraid a little bit <laughs> so I didn't want to move here because of this it took me a whole year to decide that I love the view so much uh -huh. that if there are black beers I hope they're not gonna bother me and people die from cars and people die from strokes and heart attacks and I hope I'm not gonna die from a black beer and uh, I overcame that fear, so I'm happy. And thank you, Hashem, for giving me this beautiful view. Thank you, Hashem, for sending me Rabbi Zion. Thank you, Hashem, for sending me Peter. Thank you, Hashem, for giving me this opportunity. And to thank you publicly, thank you. Thank you, Hashem, for watching this. <laughs> Leap, 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 where, where can people find your work? They already know you, but those yeah, who don't... They can Google Leap Schmelzer on Google, they can Google my, my videos, they can Google uh, uh, my YouTube videos, they can go on iTunes and Spotify and... Thank you again, brother, Thank for you. lining this up. Without Shlomi, we wouldn't be here. And if you want to support this channel, I have a Patreon link down below. Do direct DMing. Uh, you can support however you want. Thanks for coming along. We got to get going because we're off to uh, Shabbos. Yeah, Leap is going to be there. Yeah, Leap is going to be at Shabbos. Okay, next video will be Shabbos. Okay, thanks for coming along. So now that I don't have the synagogue, I don't have the shul, I keep this as a memory. Because in our hearts, we all have, we all have a shul. Mm -hmm. It's called a Mishkan in Hebrew.